Hi, and welcome to day nine of our 10 days of gratitude. Um, so for the last week or so, I've been posting prompts every day to this group of things to be thankful for. And just for us to consider all the different ways that we can thank the Lord for everything that we have. And as always, in the comments below, I will leave a link to the free um, gratitude journal I've made. It has the exact same prompts as I've posted on the page. So um, if you don't want something to print out, you can just do it by yourself. Um, but the journals are kind of a little bit pretty. So um, it has stuff for you guys, for you to do. Um, so today's question is... Um, a failure that you are thankful for. Um, so, um, I haven't had too many failures in my life, but one failure I had was in, um, university. I actually failed a course. And so I could go back and redo it, or I can completely change directions. And, um, it was embarrassing and pretty hard. Um, but I decided to completely change course. Um, and the reason why I'm so thankful for that failure is because if I had stayed, um, if I had gone back and redid that course, um, I would have never met my husband. So, um, it, it was like, you know, I didn't understand at the time that something good would happen out of my failure. Um, but to this day, you know, when we got married, I was able to go back in my timeline and be like, oh, if I had made the other decision or if I hadn't failed, would we have ever met? And so I just really love that sometimes God uses failure to redirect us, um, to bring us into something completely different and maybe a day, a week, a month, a year, two years, whoever long later, that path leads you to a really big blessing. Um, and so, um, like I said, I don't have tons of failures, so I don't have lots of examples that that's always what happens. Um, but I know that in my life that that has happened and just that God can redeem those failures for us and he can use those for his glory and he can use failure to bring you to something really amazing because, um, I have the best husband in the world. <laughs> um, and I'm just so grateful for him every day. And so without even thinking about it, for sure, a hundred percent, if I had to redo life, I'd go through that embarrassing period of my life so that I can meet him again, because it just means everything, right? Because we've now, now been married 13 and a half years. We have three beautiful kids who, you know, have their challenges, but are just amazing. And none of that would have happened if I had stayed where I was. So, um, let me know if you think my theory is correct. Does failure eventually bring blessing or does, does that bring pain? Anyways, I want to know your story. So in the comments below, please let me know. Um, you don't have to be specific about your failure because I know so sometimes failures can be embarrassing. Um, but I want this group to be like a safe space where we can encourage each other and just say, Hey, I failed. This sucks. I'm hurting right now please encourage me. So that's what I want you to get from this is that maybe you're going through a period in time where, um, you know, something's happened that you failed at or things aren't going the way you want them to be. And you're kind of feeling down on yourself. Um, but know that that space and time in life doesn't last forever and you will be on the other side of it one day and that God can still be using this time to build up your character and who you are and redirect you into, um, blessing. So I think that that's pretty awesome. So in the comments below, 
go grab that journal for free, write out your thoughts, think about some of those failures, um, and then share them in the comments because I'd love to know. So that's all I have for now, and I'll see you tomorrow for the last day, and I can't wait to see what you have to say in the comments. Bye.